Hello and welcome to Coding with Stephen. Uh, today we're going to be working through one of our JavaScript coding challenges, uh, get even index items from an array, which is within our uh, basics set of challenges. Um, up here in front of me I've got a set of instructions on how to get started with these uh, coding challenges, um, as well as how to get your uh, development environment set up. I'll post a link in the video description so that you can uh, download these instructions and get yourself um, all set up. Um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to head over to the uh, instructions file that's included with all the challenges uh, to give us an idea as to what we're going to need to do uh, for this particular challenge. Um, so we know that we're going to have a get even item, a get even index items function, um, and that. Uh, function should return should take an array of items returning all items at even indices uh, now th for those of you unfamiliar with uh, arrays in JavaScript arrays are um, known as uh, zero indexed within JavaScript which means that each item within the array the first item will start at um, index zero uh, so this item one would be index zero item two would be index one and so on and so forth. So this particular challenge is to return all items from an array um, that are at indexes that are divisible by two, essentially. And what we've got here is we've also got some tests that we can run, uh, which will just uh, check our code and make sure that it runs uh, as we're expecting with the outputs um, that are expected within the test. So you can just copy this and you can actually run it just within your terminal like so. Uh, to begin with, uh, all the tests will fail because we haven't actually filled in any of the code just yet. Um, so let's get started with that. Head over and we've got our get even index items. And the first uh, parameter that we've got here is, is the array that we're going to be working with. Um, now, the first part of the challenge is to check whether there are actually any items within the array. So if for some reason uh, the array is empty, um, we'll just check array.length equals zero. And then what we'll actually do is we'll just return an empty array straight away. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll just work on the array and we'll actually make use of a filter function um, to, to filter out those items that are not at indexes that are divisible by two. And what a uh, filter uh, function does is it takes another function as an argument um, and depending on whether that uh, function returns true or false determines whether that item is filtered. Now a filter function, the first argument, will take uh, the item from the array and you can actually access the index of that particular item as the second argument for, uh, for a filtering function like so. Um, and what we're going to want to do is we're actually just going to want to check to see if that index is divisible uh, equally by two. And we can actually use what's known as the remainder operator to actually run through that check. So how that looks is we'll actually just do index equals uh, equals zero. And what this does is it uses what's known as a, a remainder operator. So it says uh, if the index is perfectly divisible by two and has zero remaining items, then it will return true. And if it doesn't, then it will return false. And what this means is that this filter function now should just contain all items that are at an even index within the array. So we'll save that one there. We'll just head back and just run through our tests again. And what we'll notice is we've got uh, three passing tests. Now, what I'd recommend is, um, I'll leave a link to this in the uh, video description as well, but we have a document here from uh, Mozilla just on explaining how the remainder operator works so that you can have a look at it. It's really useful for uh, working on arrays where you want to get the um, even indexes or, or even the odd indexes because you can simply do a does not equal operator if you want to, to just get the odd uh, indices. Um, but once you're done, fill in those uh, bits of code there and run through the test and you should be good to go.